are Peter and Elizabeth Clark, and we live at Leander at Longreach, which is northwest of, of Longreach, about 30 k's in the direct line. It's about, in total, counting the permission to occupy, it's 30,000 acres. We normally run about six and a half to seven and a half thousand sheep, and we breed as well as keep some wool growers, and we've been going backwards as far as that number goes. Mainly because of ruse and because of low rainfall, but we've just been trying to run too many stock on the, on the place. Well, two, two reasons. Ruse, so we've got some control over total grazing pressure, uh, because at the moment we're just going backwards because we can't control what's eating our country. We know we've got bloody thousands of ruse and plus the fact we're starting to get a lot of dogs. We realised that if we didn't put a fence up so we could control grazing pressure, we might as well sell up and go. One of the benefits we were looking for was, was to try and improve the condition of our country because we realised that it's, we've been going back for a long time and there are some grasses that was, were disappearing because of low rainfall, because of overstocking, because of a variety of things, we were conscious that if we didn't start to turn it around, that you know, gradually our sustainability was in serious question. So hopefully this fence will produce what we're looking for, which is to make it more sustainable and to improve it. We had a bit of trouble working out the height of the fence. There was you know, before we started, we, we realised that we wanted to stop dogs and roos and because we were against the highway that made it a bit more difficult. So we opted, we wanted it around about five foot high, so we got a four foot netting with a footer on it. That was one thing we were told, you must put a footer on it, so we heated that. And nearly everyone that we'd had anything to do with said, use a barbed wire, you'd need barbed wire. So we decided we'd put two barbs on it and getting the the uh, gap right was a little bit of, of, of uh, playing around. We wanted to build it so that not necessarily to stop everything but to stop it from getting damaged so that we, we wouldn't be repairing it all the time. And so far it seems to have worked. There's an odd one gone over it but very few nothing has gone through it. We didn't set out originally to increase the stocking rate but we realise now that that will most probably be a byproduct. If that's the case we were hoping that we'd get an increase in wool cut, an increase in body weight, an increase in lambing percentages as well and if that's the case and we can lift some numbers it will make a huge difference to us.